Thank you for choosing Broadcam from NCH Software. This video will show you how to set up Broadcam so you can stream video from your computer. Before we start, you should know that many connection problems have to do with NAT routers. If your router does not support Universal Plug and Play or UPnP, you will have to look up instructions in your router's manual, log into your router, and forward port 86 to port 86 on the Broadcam server. If you're not the person who looks after the router, ask the person who does to do this. The most difficult obstacle in streaming video from a computer using Broadcam or any server-based software is in configuring the internet connection. Broadcam acts as a server, allowing outside internet users to access files or live streams directly from your computer. In order to allow that access, you need to make sure your firewalls and router allow connections from the outside internet to Broadcam. To get Broadcam working, you may need to manually open the port 86 using your firewall software or log into your router to port forward 86 to the computer running Broadcam. From the toolbar, click on the Options icon to bring up the Broadcam Options window. From the Web Access tab in the Routing section, you'll see Broadcam's current internet connection status. If the text is green and says your system is configured properly, your internet connection is ready for streaming. If the text is red, you'll need to take some extra steps before you can stream. Often, enabling Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP, through your router will free up the connection. Broadcam makes use of UPnP to configure your router for you. Just click the Run Routing and Test Wizard button from this window to begin the process. If running the wizard doesn't free up the connection, the red text will give you an indication of where the connection is being held up. The red text will display problems with the IP address, firewalls, or if you don't have UPnP, will tell you to forward port 86 from your router. Your network administrator should know how to fix each of these issues, or you can try the following suggestions. There may be one or more firewalls on your system or network blocking the internet connection, including the operating system firewall, the router's firewall, and any third-party firewalls you may have installed. To open a firewall for Broadcam, a rule or exception must be created. You can find instructions for creating rules in your firewall software manual, or look for support resources online. To create a rule, you need to know which port Broadcam is set to use. By default, Broadcam uses port 86, the TCP IP connection. If your router does not support UPnP, or you prefer not to use it, you'll have to manually set your router to forward port 86. Use your router's help manual or online resources to find instructions on where to assign ports in your router's software. You'll be assigning Broadcam's port 86 to forward to your computer's local IP address at the same port. If Broadcam stops working after a period of working successfully, you may find that the connection status points to a problem with your IP address. Broadcam and other servers require a static IP address. If Broadcam finds that your IP address changes, You'll need to acquire a static IP address from your internet service provider or use a dynamic IP service to direct your changing IP address to a domain name. The domain name can then be used in place of an IP address. For more information on how to make your computer accessible from the public internet, visit the NCH Software Knowledge Base article at the address shown on your screen. Broadcam's main screen is divided into two sections. The top section is where you add live video streams and from the bottom section, you can add pre-recorded video files for streaming. To add a live video stream, click the Add button in the Live Video Stream section. This brings up the Live Input Settings window, where you enter the name of the stream, the video device the stream will feed from, and the audio settings you will use. Click OK to save the stream, and you will see the stream has been added to the Live Video Streams list on the main screen. When the streams in this list are enabled, they are ready for streaming to your website. To add pre-recorded video files for streaming, click the Add button in the Pre-recorded Video Files section. Browse to the video file you want to add and click Open. You'll be asked if you want the selected video to play in Windows Media Player or with Flash Player. Choose one and then your video will be added to the pre-recorded video files list on the main screen. Once you have your playlist or live streams ready to go, you need to connect Broadcam to your website. Click the Connect button from Broadcam's main window. This will open up a browser window with a list of URLs and code you can add to your website's code. For each stream or video added to Broadcam, 
You'll see links for both a broadband and dial-up stream, along with a link for a local network or for the public network. Ask your web developer for help in adding these URLs and code if you're not sure where they go. If you plan on using the free version of Broadcam, you must also include a link to NCH software on every page that links to Broadcam. The HTML code for the NCH software link is found at the bottom of the links page. It must be placed accurately on your website or else Broadcam will be disabled. Once the Broadcam links are in place on your website, your live video streams can be watched anytime the streams are enabled from the main application, even when Broadcam is running in the background. You've just been shown how to stream live and recorded video through your website using NCH Software's Broadcam Streaming Video Server. For information on other products by NCH Software, visit the address on your screen.